Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Both from the 19th Hole, and we're here today to play hole number nine of the upcoming Labor Day Tournament. Uh, this is a par five, and this is a hole that depends uh, greatly on your tee shot and what you can do for your second shot. I would definitely recommend bringing a Titan ball for your ball, um, and a second uh, wood club with a lot of distance on it, and curl. So what we're going to do here with the Tailwind is we're going to play this shot over the bunker. Uh, this is a slight downhill shot from the tee box, so make sure that you do adjust properly about a 10% um, addition of wind here. Uh, so you just want to make sure you don't overshoot this drive into the bunker or that rough. So as you see, you're going to put a little bit of overpower on this one, not too much for this shot. And we hit it great to the right, but that should give us a good uh, hop over the bunker, as you see right there. And we should roll down the fairway and put ourselves in position for a possible second shot at the hole. What you want to keep in mind is on the second shot, it is going to require a great deal of overpower and curl uh, from this way. Uh, you can play your, your, your drive to the left side short in the first fairway uh, and then try to bounce over the, uh, the second set of rough on the screen. Uh, or you can play it like I did. You can also play it to the right side up to the edge of the uh, fringe of the rough and try to hit it over the water. Uh, and that may give you a straighter on shot to the green. Uh, but if you're in the rookie, you're going to probably play it short left or take the shot that I took over the bunker. As you see, my opponent here makes a very similar shot to me as well. And is going to put himself in a decent position uh, for his second shot also. So as you see, for this shot right here, I've got the big dog. Yes, the big dog. Definitely um, the club that you want to bring. Um, with this shot right here, you really need a little tailwind. We're going to do a full top, full right. What we're trying to do is land this ball and have the second hop hit the rough and roll through to the green. Um, definitely a very difficult shot right here to make. Uh, worst case scenario, you're sitting in the rough, you know, fairly close to the hole. Uh, best case scenario, you roll through and onto the green or the, f uh, the fringe. So you see full top, full right, full right curl and overpower. We hit a good shot there. Um, and we get the roll, but we're not going to quite make it out of the rough. So, uh, you know, in the tournament, we may have a little bit better of a wind, maybe a little bit higher wind for this shot. Um, so definitely keep that right there in mind. Uh, but also, you know, keep in mind that if you do uh, have a wind where you can't make that jump over the rough, you know, it might be a good um, idea to lay up your shot and just put yourself in position for the thorn chip. Uh, it is a very, you know, short little chip to the green and definitely a very makeable eagle chip. Uh, but if you feel like you can make the shot where you can roll the ball onto the green, definitely uh, a good idea. Uh, and the way that I will be attempting to play this hole, we'll just have to wait and see what kind of a wind we have here uh, in the tournament. You know, all of these shots are very reliant depending on what kind of wind we see on Monday. So here you see real short um, range shot here with the, the razor here. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to, you know, use my backspin, line this shot up right here. Um, we will adjust just a little bit for the wind, uh, not too much. You know, 2.3 miles per hour is not really a whole lot of wind. Uh, so we'll adjust just a little bit to the right, and hopefully we'll see if we can roll this one in. Got to get the perfect shot here. Let's see if we can do it. Almost got it. Just barely missed that one right there to the left-hand edge of the cup. So we're going to roll that one in for a birdie. Had a really good chance at the eagle. Uh, you know, giving yourself a chance at the eagle, in my opinion, is probably the best you can do. Uh, just always make sure to leave yourself in a position to get that chance at the eagle, whether it be playing that second shot a little bit short of all that rough or trying to get that ball to roll through the rough to the fairway or the fringe uh, or even the green, possibly. So we'll just wait and see what we get on Monday. So you can see my opponent here going for the uh, little bit longer of a chip than I had. Uh, I believe if he was on the fairway, he'd had a really good chance. And as you see right there, uh, the back edge of that uh, green does slope down, so make sure to be careful on your shot. Uh, don't be putting too much uh, power on that shot. You know, don't put too much topspin to roll your shot uh, over the edge. Um, you know, more than likely, if you do roll over the edge on that green you will roll onto that fringe, which is a very easy chip to the hole anyway. So my opponent right here is going to make his little chip shot. 
And uh, that is basically how you're going to play uh, hole number nine of the upcoming Labor Day tournament. So make sure you all get out there and practice it. Um, definitely practice, practice, practice. Um, this is a hole that a lot of us have already played in uh, you know past tournaments, so we all kind of already know how to play this hole. Uh, it's just a matter of actually getting out there and making the shots on this hole because uh, it does require two, uh, you know, strong shots, especially off the tee and definitely that second shot where you need to overpower your shot. So definitely I uh, hope you all have a good day and good luck on the tournament on Monday. Happy Labor Day, y'all.